I'm Lori Craig, this is Pandora, and this is gonna be our Bling It Up. I wanted to show everybody how quickly you can add some special touches to your dog in a very short time and very cost efficiently. So on Sweet Pandora here, we're gonna actually do the gems going down the nose. Um, I'm gonna do some iron in crystals in her ears. Uh, probably do like a little bit of booty bling. Uh, we're just kinda gonna get all crazy with our creative stuff. So for starters, I'm gonna go ahead and do the bling down her nose. And what I like is, find them. I always pick rhinestones. Um, you can get them at a creative collection or you can actually go to Hobby Lobby. Now, I try to pick them for the size of my dog just in case somebody happened to ingest it. You want something that's gonna be able to pass through the dog and you don't want anything with sharp edges to it. So no stars or hearts or anything that's sharp. You want something nice and round. So I'm just going to use my Aileen's Tacky Glue. And I like the Aileen's Tacky Glue because it's water soluble. It's very easy to wash off. If your client doesn't like it, you just take a wash rag to it. Um, it comes off with the next bath. So I'm gonna do them all the way down her nose just because there's like a red carpet outside and we wanna get as much attention and glam out there as possible. So I'm just gonna to try to do my little dots of glue going down and this will dry clear. We're gonna go one on the very tip. And it's very simple, you just add your little bling. Oh, that was a clear one, we don't want clear, we want red to match. So you get one on there. Two. And if you got different sizes, it's really pretty if you go from big to small on there. We have one size. Just want to spread out. I want to look at her so I don't get them all sideways on her face. Like I said again, it looks kind of ugly with that extra glue, but it will dry clear. So that's just a really quick way of adding some bling to your dog. Um, always at the Day of the Dead festivals, I always do like under the eyes and I really bling her out. We do a lot of crazy stuff on there. And then just to get some pretty glam in her ears, these are the iron in hair crystals. And they have their own adhesive on these. So what you actually have to use is a flat iron behind them. So it'll adhere to the ear. You can cut one if you want. You could do them um, just little pieces everywhere all over the dog, but I'm gonna do a full strand in her ear. So I'm gonna cut as many as I want. And these have a backing on them. This little clear plastic thing, you just get rid of that. And these are all held on by a little piece of tape. So you wanna find a strand of hair. Let's put these on. And you just use that tape and just kinda of stick them all to that hair. And get them on there. Okay. I'm gonna get my little flat iron. I use a little mini flat iron. And I always stay a couple inches away from the actual skin, just because I am gonna use heat to get them on there. So you hold this down for three seconds on each stone. And just warm it up. One more stone after that. And just peel that off. And that's a really cool way of adding some bling and pizzazz to a client's dog. Um, to get them off, we're just gonna remove one. So you heat it back up for about three seconds and it melts that glue and it just peels right off. A lot of people ask, well, does it mat up the hair? Since it's all kind of secured with adhesive on the back, you'll just wanna hold up that piece and just brush around it and it still makes it really pretty and cute. 
Um, you can also do these, say if you just want to do one or two, we'll do them in the tail. And that way when she wags her tail, you'll just see this cute little bling on her rear end. Do one there. Pandora, stand up for just a second. Good girl. So I'm just going to get a little piece of hair out on the edge. And do the same thing, just take the, the white backing off. And a little tiny bit of hair. Three seconds. Down that one. Another little piece over here. Then I'm going to do another one underneath just so when she's walking she'll have a little bit of bling behind. These are really cost effective in a salon. Um, you would generally do a full strand for an added five on dollars. They don't cost very much at all. So again, I'm just going to do one down here. Hold it for three seconds. Kill it off. She's got just a little bit of bling whenever she walks, not too heavy on her. Take this off. Let that cool down out of the way. It doesn't burn anybody. I also want to show you the. Um, We'll get her on the other side. These are like little hair extensions. I wish they could put stuff on my dog, except she shows. That's why we go temporary. Put temporary stuff in. Pandora. Oh, okay. Come it would here. be my look. It would still stay in. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to stand on the other side of her. I'm losing, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna stand on this side of her really quick and try to turn her head so you can see. So these are the little hair extensions. And I'm just gonna get probably about 10 pieces of hair and I'm gonna kind of twist that hair. And these are the uh, hair threaders that you use this has a little micro bead on it with a silicone coating so it doesn't hurt the dog's coat. And you just press that onto the hair, hold that bead, and pull this threader back. So your little micro bead's on there. You can see it. Then you take your little hair extension, whatever you want to put in there. And I do it up above that little hard piece. And you just crimp it. And then you can always scissor this to match the ends of her length of her hair, but she's already there. them you just press the opposite way so if you press the micro bead that way it just slides out you lose no hair um, a lot of dogs are very sensitive to bows things like that it's a little heavier in a spot with the feathers again feather light you can go ahead and just use these if you like 
and the dogs tend to leave them in a whole lot. The cool thing about a feather too is if you start on a program where you sell feathers in your shop, you can turn around and uh, rewash the feather and if it's in good condition you can put it in your next client generally at no cost a good way to get them started on an add-on service next time they may want something a little bigger and fancier so you sell them a larger feather at that point um, i think we're going to do a little glitter tattoo on her as well glitter tattoos are really fun again they're water soluble it's super easy to take on and off but it's a great way of getting some pizzazz and glam on them but I'm going to have to shave a little portion of her really quick. And I always do that with my Bravara's, uh, Chromatos, or any wall 5-in-1 trimmer. So let me go ahead and get a little spot done on her. Of course, I'm going to do a little skull because that's my thing. Come on, Pandora. Get this out of the way. Good girl. Pandy's a little tired. She's been up all day. So, I guess we're going to place it right about here, so I'm going to have to clean out my little area. Good. Didn't think I was going to go for trimmers. So the tighter you go, the better your detail is. She doesn't have much coat for this glue to stick to, um, so it may not stay on there as much as it would with something that's got a little more coat to it. Glitter tattoos are great for anything with like a 7F or shorter. They just really hold great shape. So we're gonna do it right in here, I guess. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this on a 15 and just kind of take out this area. So she has a little bad tattoo on her. We're going to do a multicolored one. Okay. Let's see if that gives me enough space. That should. Okay, these stencils are awesome. So you can these were originally made with us for blow pinning, so it actually has a splash guard around it. So if you get a little messy with your blow pen or your air flare and it kind of goes everywhere, this will protect all the hair around it. They're reusable, which makes them really cool. This is a really detailed one. So we're gonna add this right here and they're sticky back. So you can do this hands-free because you always have dogs that are wiggling around on you. So we're going to do our little bow in color and then I'm going to do the rest of it and I think it's silver glitter. You can use this little uh, paintbrush if you want with this. I don't have any on me so I'm just going to use my finger and glue it in. So we're going to use some red glitter. Oh, 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 sleepy. Wake up, Pandy. You awake? <laughs> Silly girl. So I'm just going to kind of pat my glitter in there. You awake now? Okay. I'm going to do a silver underneath. You awake now? Good girl, it's okay. that tack for a second.
I said this is a really detailed one. Hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. If not, it's okay. You just wash it off. Okay. So we're going to do our silver glitter. And I'm just going to kind of press it up to them. We don't want to create a whole big mess over here. that may need some correction on it. Yeah, it come out super pretty, but it's gonna dry clear and you're not gonna see this white underneath. And I'm gonna find a little paintbrush and go ahead and paint in the eyes, just cause that's not all that pretty. Um, let me see what else. I mean, that's really quick for our bling it on. So you can always do toenail polish like she has. It's always, a shop favorite with many people. Um, the air flares are great. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing some color work and uh, we're gonna do blow pins, air flare, um, just kind of all crazy colored stuff. And I, that's it for now. Thank you.